Well, joining us now, Republican Congressman from Pennsylvania, Dan Muser. Dan, thank you for joining us. What's your take on the executive orders, and are there any uh, orders that especially get your attention? We know Pennsylvania is a big energy state. Heather, Bob, nice to be with you. Uh, yes, uh, Joe Biden certainly speaks as a centrist, but he's acting on behalf of the far left, and these executive orders are all the evidence we, we should need. He, he killed the Keystone Pipeline arrangement last week, also killed over 10,000 jobs and, and, and long-term long high-paying jobs uh, in one of the most environmentally friendly um, projects when it comes to uh, natural gas and oil. Um, you know, just banning fracking on federal lands is, is devastating to the industry. It'll send ripples throughout. Uh, the, the state of New Mexico has nearly 30 percent of the land where they frack is on is on federal lands, and we do have some in Pennsylvania. So he's making these decisions very much in isolation. There's no inclusionary discussions with Republicans. I mean, clearly, um, and this ban on fracking for um, and on federal lands could cost hundreds of thousands of jobs. A very odd way, I think, to start your your presidency in just caving to the extreme end of your, your party and your base. Yeah, let's take a look at some of some of what you just mentioned, uh, some of former president's uh, executive orders, just to compare during their first week. Uh, president Trump, the former president, signed one executive order in his first week, which pales in comparison to what uh, President Biden has done so far. Uh, what is your take on uh, President Biden signing so many orders just generally this early in his presidency? And who do you think is guiding him if he's not not reaching out to the individual states to see what's best for them. Well, it's stunning. He's just giving into acquiescing to, like, I gather, promises made during the course of the campaign, but they're not in the interest of, of the United States. I mean, they're not in the interest of North America, in, including Canada. Um, you know, what he's doing on, on the southern border as well uh, by having a moratorium on illegals uh, to be deported. I mean, that's just that's just a very bad policy. He's reversing a very important trend that has developed throughout the Trump administration in reducing illegal crossings, um, which is which is you know a life and death matter. Uh, by when you entice illegals to come across, you're putting their families in jeopardy. I've been at the border. Any uh, custom and border patrol agent will tell you what he's doing is very very harmful. And 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 again, it's it's the worst of what we. We uh, uh, thought would occur. He yeah. said he was going to be a centrist. He said he was going to be inclusionary, and he's uh, only uh, uh, catering to the far left. If we could get back to the uh, freeze on oil and gas leasing, uh, fracking, that sort of thing on federal lands, um, from what I understand, as you mentioned, 30 percent of the land in New Mexico is federally owned, but only 2 percent in Texas. So is this a situation in which private enterprise might be able to move where they're working and actually set up on lands that happen to not be owned by the federal government? Yes, and in Pennsylvania, again, we have we have sort of the same same ratio as Texas. That, nevertheless, when you have projects invested in, when you, you have supply chain ripple effects, there are suppliers in Pennsylvania and, and throughout the country uh, that provide for the projects being developed in New Mexico and, and, and elsewhere. So it's very disruptive. Uh, it is uh, highly unnecessary. We, we in the United States are the only industrialized nation that have reduced our, our carbon emissions for the last two years in a row. Russia and China are increasing. This benefits China and Russia. It does not benefit America. It does not benefit the environment. It is a uh, knee-jerk uh, reaction to, a, to a, a promise made to the extreme left wing of his, of his party. Uh, it's not going to accomplish anything. It's not going to reduce uh, carbon emissions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only going to cost American jobs and, by the way, improve the energy uh, economy of Russia and China. Okay, fair enough. Congressman Muser, thank you very much, sir.